Okay, in this um, uh, screencast, uh, we'll talk about um, the theory of computation. Um, what is theory of computation and the main question that this discipline uh, tries to answer. So, what is uh, theory of computation, also known um, as uh, theoretical computer science? Theoretical computer science. Sometimes it is called computability theory or recursion theory. Uh, those are basically synonymous. So um, the main question that uh, the discipline, this discipline, uh, attempts to answer is what can be computed in principle. Okay, this is a very very high view. So this is the main question that this discipline attempts to answer. Now, um, uh, almost immediately, uh, we get another question. Well, what does computed mean? Right? And what is computation? And, um, well, in theoretical computer science, there are four components to this answer. So, first and foremost, there has to be a computational device. Right? So, let's, uh, let's draw a device. And uh, let's step back uh, uh, a little and uh, talk about computational devices and how theoretical computer science characterizes various computational devices. So these are some examples of computational devices. You uh, have personal computer, uh, then this is a smartphone, um, Google Nexus One. Um, and then we have uh, Junoon Mark III uh, robot, uh, a robot, and these are all computational devices. There are multiple computational devices out there, and uh, they are different, right? They're different in terms of their processing power, in terms of their operating systems, in terms of their uh, uh, chips, uh, in terms of their appearances, in terms of the target audiences that uh, they are serving, in terms of the user interfaces, right? But uh, uh, theoreticians try to abstract away as many hardware details as possible because um, uh, even though, uh, even though uh, the uh, devices are different, right? They are pairwise different. PC is different from uh, the smartphone, um, right? So yes, very different. Um, and uh, uh, the smartphone is different from the robot, and the robot is different from uh, from the PC. Um, the basics of the underlying computational model, right, the so-called digital computational model, remains the same. So we basically have a chip or a processor, and the processor takes uh, an input and produces an output. Right? There may be multiple chips uh, on the board, uh, but the underlying principle does not change. So in uh, goes the input. Uh, and out goes the output. So now, uh, so that's why they're all basically the same. Where we introduce a quantum computer, where bits can be in multiple places at the same time, then we would have to change our computational model, obviously. So let's get back to this question: What does computed mean? So first of all, we have to have a computational device with as much hardware detail in the way as possible. The second component is formal input. What does formal mean? So we have to be able to describe formally, uh, right, according to some set of rules, uh, the legal inputs for this device. Okay, so or the device must be recognized, must be able to recognize the input. So yes, I can process this input versus no, this is the input that I cannot work with. Then um, uh, the third component um, of the definition of computation or computed is the finite number of steps, right? Um, uh, the, 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 the meaning of computation, one of the definitions of computation is that uh, for us is that it has to terminate in a finite number of steps, right? And in a finite number of steps, uh, it can be a, a long number, a large number of steps, it has to produce a formal output. So we will have to be able to read the formal output and uh, say that it's a legal output or another device that consumes the output of this device we will be able to recognize. And what's a step? Well, let's say it's a clock tick or an instruction, right? So how many instructions will it take for this device to uh, produce an output? on this input. Now, another important uh, uh, question, algorithms versus computability. Theoretical computer science, uh, broadly speaking, this is a very, very general uh, um, um, uh, dichotomy, right, division. Uh, it can be divided into algorithmics and computability. 
so and this is in many respects artificial branch and artificial division because th those two disciplines are interdependent but uh, algorithmics basically answers the question of how how fast and uh, how much right how much space is required uh, how many instructions how many ticks of the clock the computability answers the question of uh, what right not how fast can it can something be computed but what can be computed so let me carve this niche and um, illustrate it with a concrete example let's say that we're supposed to sort the problem of sorting an array of um, n uh, numbers right a set of n, uh, n numbers or 0 through uh, n now if uh, we're interested in uh, algorithmics and we're studying the sorting uh, problem well in uh, due course uh, in due time uh, due to the genius of um, uh, someone's genius um, uh, insight we can as a community uh, of computer scientists uh, can discover um, the algorithm known as heap sort right we can discover first the heap data structure and then we can discover that well okay that data structure can be used to sort uh, an array of numbers from smallest to largest or from largest to smallest right it depends on whether we're dealing with maximum heaps or minimal heaps now and we can also discover that this is uh, is uh, takes theta and log n steps where n is the number of uh, is the length of the array we can furthermore conclude that this is the optimal one of the optimal compare uh, sorts right because if we're doing comparison sorts we cannot do better than n log n to a computability theorist right to a theoretical computer scientist who's inter interested in computability um, it doesn't really make a difference whether uh, we can solve this problem in the cubic time or n log n time right what matters to a theoretician is that that problem can be solved right uh, on uh, a particular computational device so yes this device can sort an array of numbers